Billy, you so crazy. Yo, what's cracker? What's cracking? It's your boy, Billy, you so crazy. And we back, and we back, and we back, and we back with another one. Y'all read the title, so you already know what I'm doing, man. This is Mike and the Mechanics, The Living Years. All right, this was suggested and requested by David M. Rossi. Shout out to David M. Rossi. I appreciate you so much for being a crazy pack member. And shout out to anybody else that has put this in my comment section and said, Billy, you gotta check this out. This video is for you as well. But if you wanna become a crazy pack member, all you have to do is just hit the link in the description. The very first one at the top. Uh, follow me on all my social media links are right there send me a message on any one of those i get back to you as soon as possible don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and man enough of all that stuff now that we got out, got that out the way let's get straight into this mike and the mechanics the living years They going on a hike? Where are they at? Every generation blames the one before. Now, if that ain't the truth, <laughs> if that's not the truth, wow. All of their frustration. Mm hmm. Yeah. I know that I'm a prisoner to all my father held so dear. I know that I'm a hostage to all his hopes and fears. I just wish I could have told him no. in the living years. Oh. Oh, man. Oh, crumpled bits of paper. Quick question though, because this this video was re-released in 2018, which by the way that it's edited and it looks, I know that it didn't come out in 2018. So can y'all let me know when this actually came out? I'm afraid that's all we've got. You say you just don't see it. He says it's perfect sense. You just can't get agreement in this present tense. We all talk a different language. Talking in defense. Hmm. Say it oh, he got a choir. I like his voice. It's too late. It's too late. Mm. Oh, when we I like I like that note. Whoa. It's too late. It's too late when we die. Oh, when we die. Hey. Yeah, that's how you mess up your future. That's true. What is, what is that quote? I can't think what the quote is, but it's like life is like 80% of the things that happen to you and the other 20 is how you react to it, or maybe it's 90. I don't know the percentages. But hopefully I know what quote I'm talking about, but it's exactly what he's talking about. Say, say, say Can't focus on that negative. Got to hunt for the good stuff. That's something that I did learn when I was in basic training. Uh, my drill sergeant, they were going over some PowerPoint lesson, which, you know, during the PowerPoint lessons, you pretty much fall asleep during them because it's just so long and drawn out and boring. But I remember I heard a couple of good pieces of information of, the hunting the good stuff, which is just, you have to, if you feel like there's a bunch of bad things that's happening, try to find the good in in certain scenarios or, or whatever's happening. 
because that's what's going to bring you, calm you back down and get you back focused to do what you need to do. Now, of course, he was talking about, you know, getting yelled at and all different types of stuff in basic training. But nonetheless, though, the same, <laughs> the same things apply in life. Real talk. The same things apply in life. Because if you would have told Billy you so crazy a year ago or even two years ago at this point when I was transitioning out of the military that I would be in a position that I'm in now, I probably wouldn't have believed it or at least that it would have happened maybe so fast because at the time, like I was super depressed, but I did, kept, I kept telling myself that I know that it's not going to be like this forever. I know that I'm going to be in a better position. I've always had the vision of the things that I wanted to accomplish. And man, let me tell y'all something, <laughs> man, you literally, you, you can literally think something and do it. Literally think something and do it. So power. It, you, <laughs> I, I am about to preach on here, man. I'm sorry. y'all. I get into these moments. Where, if you can't tell, I'm passionate. I'm very passionate about the stuff that I care about. And I'm very passionate when it comes to other people and their dreams and, and, and their mental health and all that, because that's important. And I realize where I came from and where my mind was at and how much has changed now. And even back then, like, because I've always had when bad stuff was happening, I still was just like, I know it's only right now. It's raining only today. It's not going to rain tomorrow. He just said it in, in his song. He was just like, yo, yo, your perspective today is probably not going to be the same tomorrow. All right, y'all, I'm going to stop talking. My bad. <laughs> I get passionate about this stuff, man. And don't wait till people die to tell them you love them. Give people their flowers today while they're alive. Don't give it to them when they're gone. Give people their flowers, man. Give them to them. Tell your people you love them. Tell somebody you care about them. Don't wait. Tomorrow is a promise. A really good song this is a really good song yo david good choice my guy real good choice this song is super dope i love that song love the message it brought out billy you so preachy <laughs> he logged into the chat my apologies for those that just came here to watch the video because some people get confused on reaction videos they think that when they click on a reaction video that they're actually going to watch the music video without me talking sorry not sorry <laughs> But anyways, man, if you guys enjoyed this reaction, give this video a thumbs up, man. Comment down below what you want to see me react to next. Follow me on all my social media links are right there. That's it, man. That's all I got for you. It's your boy, Billy. You so crazy. And I'll see you on the next video, man. I'm out this thing.